All right, all right, here we go. Here are a couple of stepper controllers. This is uh, my three element stepper controller. We're gonna crack it open just to check what the um, uh, what the um, serial port interface looks like. And this is SDA 100. You can see the size difference, it's pretty significant. It's pretty cool. Um, it's amazing that it's that much bigger. I mean, it's 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 bigger. I started taking it apart, and I just decided it'll be a good chance to have some good content. So I'll go ahead. Uh, of course, the SDA100 is real easy to disassemble. It's just four screws. But uh, the three element, we're going to have to take the back uh, the back panel off. So let's see. Just taking off the three screws that were remaining. Oh, and the whole purpose of this video today is to upgrade it to a um, serial controlled um sda 100 so it looks pretty easy it looks like it's just socketed in there pop these little things out Jeez, it's going to be real easy i'll follow static precautions but before i pop it in what i wanted to do was actually take the this one apart just to look compare to the uh, serial port Size is significantly different. Looks like the chips might be the same as a four or five pin header that solders in. Let's see what this looks like. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. So, so that's that. Spacing's different. Thank God. What a pain in the butt these are so close. Looks like. Looks like the chips are about the same. Yeah, the chips are a little different too. There's also another little header in there. So that settles that. So they are different. The spacing's different. Everything's different. The board sides, of, geez, it almost looks almost uh, double the height. See that? Now, it looks like the chip sets are about the same, but they're definitely not the same. You know, you got the same big. Yeah, I don't know if that that is a Y1, same coil there, same diodes, same R, uh, RS232 chip, but the, the controller chip's a bit different, U3 it's called. So we'll set the uh, three element deal aside and we'll see how easy this one is to pop in. I'm hoping it just lines up, slides in, and pops through. That's it. Look at that. Like a well-oiled machine. So I got the new um, standoffs here. And it looks like that's installed. Everything else looks good inside of this. I, I don't even use this thing because it didn't have the serial control. It wasn't worth it for me. Hopefully swap the wires right over and this thing works the same. So uh, I'm going to set this aside and put this back together. Alright, so here we go. So as you can see, uh, the thing is on uh, 17 meters now. So this is the way I use it. So if I go, uh, if I just go here, if I say, uh, I don't know, 14040, hit enter. What it should do is go right to that frequency, 14040. So that's uh that's that's the way I use it. So give it a little time to turn tune. If I go up a band to 18, it goes to 18 within a few seconds, it starts going. And it does that for all the high bands above 20 meters. So it's pretty simple. If I want to reverse direction, I have to hit the 180. If I want to do bi-directional or if I want to go back to forward or if I want to retract the elements, I do it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and re retract all the elements. All right, now. this is SDA 100 in. Can you read it? I don't know if you can see it on the... All right, I'm holding a little funny, but I haven't done anything with the setup yet. So let's see, up, down...
transceiver setup. So I know I'm 38.4. We'll go do this. We'll do 19.2 transceiver. I think it's Kenwood we have to set for the other craft. That's what we'll try. Well, let me fight around a little bit. All right, we got it to work. What I had to do was I wasn't saving it. So it looks like it's working. Band up, 18 mega, 1800. There you go. Working like a champ. So mission accomplished. So that works. I'm going to see if there's other uh, fancy features I could use. I'd like to be able to set it not with the radio um, by tracking the radio's frequency, but right from its own serial port on the computer. So we'll leave that in, in on deck now. So here, what I had to do, let's see if I can demonstrate. So under setup, uh, I looked for transceiver setup. Hit select. Once I set the 38.4, when I did that last time, I didn't hit select again to, to essentially write it. So now I've, I've written it. I'm able to turn auto track on or off. And um, let's see what happens.